You can substitute the brass for gold. And I just took a key on gold. That's my name. To be adequately gold is to be blessed, bro. It's mm. to be gifted. Just like I said in the passenger stop. I'm not by what I see. Of. I know where I be. That one is sure for me. Here's the madness in there. Ah, uh, Omo. Where's your most favorite place in the world currently? In the family. Anywhere there is one. This guy does not wear anything he's not 100% comfortable with. Anything where I wear, he didn't enter. Check out. If I lie, bro, you can tell now. Look at shoulder. One more now. One more. One more. One more. You're all right. Vibe. So I need everyone to give me a massive welcome for Tio Tequila! If people are not paying attention to my music, they will pay attention to this one. And I yeah, did Kim Kardashian. Even as I've stopped now, I see the king of Photoshop. He's sure for me to die. The first time I heard of Adekunle Gold was when I saw him in hilarious pictures with top famous Nigerian celebrities. For him to have been able to transform from editing photos to becoming one of the most prominent Afrobeat artists on the planet is crazy. He has become a successful music artist and a fashion icon in the African entertainment space, which all started when he dropped his first single in 2015, Shade. This became an instant hit and brought him to the limelight. Today, just before he drops his new album, Tequila Ever After, I had the opportunity to follow him around for 24 hours to discover how he has evolved and managed to stay successful as an artist over the past 8 years. Yeah, hey also guys, what's happening? I'm currently in London, UK. And today we're gonna be experiencing 24 hours with Adekunle Gold. I've never met him before, and I'm just gonna be taking my camera and following him around for the whole day, asking him a couple questions and just basically documenting a day in his life and seeing what we get up to. On this side is O2, which is the arena where all the Nigerian, many of all the Nigerian artists have shot down over the years. We are shutting down everywhere, man. Nigeria to the world, Afrobeats. <laughs> so guys, this is Canary Wharf. I've been hearing about Canary Wharf for a very long time and finally got to see it. Massive issues trying to fit this in last week, bro. Trying to fit this in a Viano or Uber or something. The cool thing about days like this is that you don't know what's gonna happen or what's gonna how it's gonna turn out. So you just have to have an open mind and be ready for an adventure. Hello, sir. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I found out this guy. I do. Good to see you, man. I'm spending today with you. Yeah, now let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know why I did London? I be just. My first time in London, actually. Oh! Yeah. Everything you're doing is crazy. You see everything. Oh, me? Oh, thank you. Oh, no. How long have you been doing this thing? Uh, five years. <laughs> <laughs> How many places have you been? Like, I know countries. You, yeah. Uh, uh, 20, 25, 20, 20 something. Maybe 22. Wait, and it's your first time in London? Yeah, but I've been to Europe, but I've not. Just no, no I, London. No London, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking about how this is your first time, and this is my countless. I can't, I don't even know how many times I've been here. You know, London is a huge part of uh, this business. My first headline show was here. Shadi brought me here. What year was that? 2015. Came with Olamide, um, Luke, YB and Elgin. I think there was a switch in your style at a specific point you in time. You are still thinking. <laughs> there, there, there definitely was. <laughs> what, what, what would you say led to that switch? It's growth. Hmm. I'm not the same person that I was like 2015 when I came out. Okay. Experiences have changed, you know. I don't touch money where way. You know, so a lot of things like it's just I've met people, mm. I've been places. It will be crazy to not embody the new reality. It's yeah. just you know, I had punk before, bro. Remember, if Shadi yeah. Shadi this, yeah. bro, you go carry ruler for that thing. He enter and die. Like, well, bro, I just woke up one day, my hair was rough. I look in the mirror. I'm like, this is also a vibe. That was when I decided, you know what, I'm done with combing my hair all the time. Mm. I popped my my button, a bit of my chest showing. Yeah made me look good i'm like okay yeah. i guess it's time you know roughing my hair up like and then 
starting to open my chest. Even though the park never entered, but at least <laughs> make that one day. Make that one day you know? <laughs> Bro, it didn't take oh uh, oh let's let's rebrand you this way. Let's mm. it just took oh this is good. I wanna do it. And that's that was it. All. Hi, how you doing? Nice to see you again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's what's happening here? I'm having a a lounge performance at BBC uh, One Extra. Yes. Yeah. So when you said you were bringing your own keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever an artist is about to drop songs, these radio runs are crucial in promoting the album, especially to a global audience. And we had two of these to go to today before heading out to the final listening party in the evening, which I was really looking forward to attending. Uh, Hi, good. Good. Chris. How are you doing? Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's it like playing with him? Like the, the oh, this changed my life. Oh really? Yeah, it saved my life. Oh, wow. For the better. So we're gonna see you guys in action today. Oh yeah. 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 I don't believe so. Is he just two, two of you or there's still more? Oh uh, yeah, a drummer. Um he's actually in the, the he studio now. Oh, okay. And then um, our MD Michael hmm. plays the keys. Oh, yeah. Okay. The time you were into photography. That's a huge part of my life, man. You know how I found photography? I was in school because mm -hmm. I went to I studied at uh, Lagos State Polytechnic. I got package and my dad. But like, my last protect with the color. I did my series at um, LTV. That's where I first found Photoshop properly. Then I went back to school. My friend told me about the photography studio somewhere in Ogba. She got me in like a meeting with the owner. He showed me on the computer. This is crazy. He showed me on the computer and already edited pictures. Picture. And then showed me like the before. And he asked me, he said, can you do this? Me. I was a bit like, I said, no. <laughs> I think bros, I can't, but I can learn it. I think that just won him over. It can't happen, say, the main editor and the main photographer yeah. fell sick the same day. So I was the only one. Hmm. It just felt like I needed to be the, the star every day. I took pictures that day, then I edited. That was the day I started like my journey properly. And since then, bro, I became the star of the, of the, company. Of the company. So I edited event pictures one by one. And that was my hustle for a long time till I went back to school for one year. So yeah, Adikunle Gold went to change and I was gonna wait till he comes back. This guy <laughs> does not wear anything he's not a hundred percent comfortable with, so I had to find another option. If he's not happy with his clothes, he doesn't do anything. So, I see Miss Face, and that's DJ and my daughter's face. Teal tequila time. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Namaste, no bad life. Teal, teal, teal. Guys, how's the how's the performance? Glad to do it with my guys. <laughs> Light work. I don't see how you play this. You play like bad guy, but no man. Have fun. Let me first carry tire. Come be busy. Let me first carry. Come be busy. Are you? What, what kind of food do you eat when you're like not around? When you're like out of? Nigga, I talk one through now. <laughs> Before that, I go do. I mean, I still, I still do it. Yeah. If I'm in a new city, I want to try something new. Yeah. Oh, I like to do that because I like to try food. Yeah. But bro, that trying, now you know, we'll pass one day. Okay. Let me find Niger food that day. <laughs> I need Niger food to survive. <laughs> I've been to this place before. This is one of my favorite restaurants in London. Mm. Very good food, bro. Man. Very good. What's it like being his manager? 
that's what it's like. What's He's what? so curious about everything. Oh, okay. And so... <laughs> <laughs> Is the one filming us now? <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's amazing to, you know, manage someone like AG. I think he's one of a kind, his mind is special, he's such a creative mastermind and like myself, I'm a perfectionist, like anyone that knows me knows that I'm extra Yeah. and to have someone that is the same, but he knows that I'm always ahead of him, so before he's extra, I'm already 10 times extra. If I'm led by the market all the time, I don't think I'm, I'm creating art. Mm. I don't think I'm creating my own art Your the way art. I want to tell my story. Mm. I always use, use this analogy everywhere. Pablo Picasso, they never painted according to trend. True. You know, they just go into the studio, lay their emotions on the, on the canvas. Mm. If you don't like the painting, you don't buy you it. You don't buy it. You move on to something else. I released Shadi 2014. God has prepared me all the way, you know, kept my growth steady so I don't burn out fast. Listen, it's beautiful to have the, be the rave instantly and all that but just i hope that you're you're also like back in the work i'm grateful for my journey i'm grateful that it's steady growth you know i'll have that done rather than something that's just a flash in the pan and then it dies out You also need to tell them, you need to subscribe to the, to the channel. Please, no, because this one is personal to me, because I actually watch his YouTube. Subscribe. We're trying to get to one million. For yeah, subscribe. So they have to no, what about you now? Six, almost seven hundred decades. That's crazy. Subscribe to his channel. Do it now. Yeah, said it. <laughs> yeah, said it. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Now it's time to go for a bit of a walk. What's next? Man's feeling heavy. <laughs> What would you say inspires you? Inspiration is everywhere. You just need to look closely. One word that's been coming to me since yesterday night is Tokyo. Tokyo James hit me up. Like, yo, bro, are you in Lagos? I'm supposed to see Steph London tonight, but they say she's in Tokyo. I'm like, wait, why is Tokyo coming up? And so I wrote, I wrote it down already. Like, I need to write about it. It's just a light bulb moment where you know, yep, that's it. Hmm. That's a song right there. That's a moment right there. And I just write it down. I use my phone a lot for that. And sometimes I have ideas. Like yesterday night, I sent, I sent like five melodies to two different producers. And guess what? They'll come back with an idea for the melodies I sent. And I'll just write to it. There's a picture that's been going on all over social media recently. Yeah. That was kind of what made it first popular as well yeah. on social media. The king of Photoshop shopping and yeah. all of that. I started with Photoshop 7. So you know how, I'm, I'm talking about as far back since 2007. When I now left school, I now found James Abinibi. Mm, Abinibi, yeah, 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 I know Abinibi. Somebody showed me his design page, and I'm like, this is insane. You know what I did? I'll, this, I'll copy all this, everything that he's done, I'll mm. copy it. I'll now try to make my own better. better. Then I eventually met him, and I told him, yo, you don't know what you've done for me, man. Fast forward to 2011, I was working with Jumia. I come off of Jimmy, I go Conga. I know that sounds funny. <laughs> my brother, I was chasing my bag. All that time was when I found the hum my humor side of Photoshop. I used to post in my captions and say, if you leave space in your pictures, I'll find my way there. So the first picture I, I edited was Tiwa Savage. I directed somebody to take my picture, posing as though I was hugging her from behind. Then I edited the pictures. I I mean, when I posted it, I saw people's reaction. I'm like, oh, oh okay. People really liked it. Like like, yourself. Mm, I'm more so deep. <laughs> if people are not paying attention to my music, they will pay attention to this one. So let me gain fans and friends in the media with this for the show. So I went ham, like, aside. Then I did Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj, and Drake, Kanye West family, Chrissy Teigen, I think Amber Rose as well. I think I did tools. You know, then I decided to now make friends in the industry. Mm. You know, so it was easy to now like start sending them my music. Oh, you sing as well, you know, kind of like, oh, this guy is good, you know. You shout to Dotun though. Dotun did all of this regardless of anything. I sent him my music and he started to play it. Even before I became popular with King Photoshop, you know. Dotun is one of those people. That's why I hold him so dear today. That's how I family found me. Oh wow, really? Yeah, just from, from, from the Photoshop thing. Yeah. Olamide discovered me and that's how I designed the YBNL logo. 
Wait, wait, you're not doing the YBNL logo. Yeah, I joined the YBNL logo. I just... see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I released it. Shali took off, and she, of course, Shali is a beautiful song. Yeah. Photoshop or not, you know, beautiful song. So, the alarm is like, come on, let's do this thing. Uh, I'm not just waste time. But bring this contract, make us sign. Listening to Adekunle Gold speak made me remember that he's one of the people who have been able to successfully help export the African culture worldwide by doing multiple songs in Yoruba, one of our local languages. There's a time nobody believed Yoruba in music could bring you worldwide stardom, but he has proven that music has no borders. We're going to be drinking some tequila today. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, you, you go drink. Yeah. We'll take shots. No I did not do tequila today. No worry, you go drink. You go drink. <laughs> I don't know, this might sound funny. I love to go to places where nobody gives a about me. Hmm. Because I just, that way, You're I, free. Yeah, I get to be human. Hmm. The one time that, first, that happened to me first was when I went to Italy, Le Como and. Oh, Le Como. Yeah, Le Como. Absolutely beautiful place. Gorgeous. It was me, Olamide, Leo Kesh, DJ Obi. Oh, wow. And then we're just on the street. Drinking NSC, like <laughs> we, they, when we first asked for NSC, they said, Oh, they only selling glasses. We're like, We, we don't do that. Oh, God, we bought two. Uh. <laughs> so it's a unicorn. Oh, you already got Yeah. Taking you to my favorite place to buy perfumes. Mm. Is it black pepper? No. It's quite. You tried to the skin, see? Oh, gosh, this is nice. Does everybody want so, ganja? Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty boys. <laughs> <laughs> You're so familiar with the names of all these things. Bro, I'm a fragrance guy. I love fragrances. Are you serious? <laughs> I have a candle line, but I mean, they're still in the works. It's oh, called okay. It's called Turari. That's very unique because not a lot of artists have products. Oh, yeah. I'm still working on the fine details to make sure that everything is perfect. I also have like a line called Tough Man. Here they come, here they come. <laughs> so now, so then they smell this thing. I don't know. I was learning now today from Adekunle Go. Say, okay, now like this. These are the rich people who used to see things. You know me, when we are from Lagos, we don't know all these things. If it was me normally, I would just carry it and put it in my new car. But normally, you're meant to just you know, save all the fragrance and take it like this. Who, who was this shot by? Yeah, it's okay. No, that shot is like... Oh no, it's not green at all. Oh, oh sure. not yet, not yet at all. So even while you're on the road, you're constantly reviewing the, uh, yes, every single thing. Everything, my brother. <laughs> so how do you get to relax and just chill? On the flight sometimes, yeah, yeah. Right. Sometimes in the studio as well, you know, it's just because it's not something I enjoy, so it's also leisure, you know. But I mean, when I'm not working, now that I'm done recording the album, like I'm tempted to go to the studio, but I'm not. I just want to drink my tequila, travel, and just sleep. Where, where is like your, where's your most favorite place in the world currently? In my family. With your family? Yeah, that's where Anywhere they are? Anywhere they are. Oh, wow. Anywhere they are, so. So, I make sure to not stay away from them. Don't go too long. Is this how most of your regular days are? It changes, I think. It changes a lot. I mean, it depends what's going on. On a promo day, it tends yeah. to be like this, back to back to back. And most times, he, he tries to catch some nap like this. <laughs> this, this one is a special kind of something going on today. <laughs> Usually it's in the car, this one is. This is a new one. Yeah, new style. I saw you crashing the beat just now. Uh -huh. I want to finish this interview so I can go and Can I sleep? <laughs> <laughs> so 
Yeah. Just, uh, I'll be asking you a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> you ask me, bro. I'm an open book. <laughs> Thank you very much for blessing us in the live lines today, thank man. You, it was thank awesome. you for having me, couldn't they go, man. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. That was fun. That was fun. I liked being to him. And we're done. Now we're heading home because <laughs> we're spending a long day outside and he needs to rest. <laughs> And we have the after party. There's a there's a big party this evening at nine o'clock. I'm sure you're gonna be out. Are you gonna party? I'm gonna drink some tequila. I'm gonna drink some tequila, man. After the long days work, I deserve it. You wanna come out? Uh, look. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> the next album that I'm working on is already started. I just know, no, those songs don't fit in this one. No, I don't know. That's a different conversation. That's a different energy. That's a different story and to tell. I mean, design. I mean, design the cover. Oh, yourself? Yeah. Wow. Because nobody will understand it. So, I mean, it's just it's stressful to be explaining, explaining. Mm -hmm. so, good time. so even these fonts, everything here. Oh yeah, then so so somebody designed that one, that one for me. Okay. But of course, I manipulated it. Everything. Yeah. I'm never not going to design my covers. I've seen it. There's no, there's no running from it. That's it. That's my escape from explaining. <laughs> explaining too much. When I tell people it's hard for for people to design for me, I know what I'm saying. So I collect, I collect raw from photographers, edit my pictures how I want it. Oh really? You edit your pictures, brother? Universal. <laughs> <laughs> It, it, sound, it sounds, it sounds, <laughs> yeah, my brother, let me tell you, if you, if you send me a photo today, I say I don't like her, I don't take personal, it's just, it's not that you're not good, you are good, it's just me, what I want is what I want, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't compromise on the quality of anything, I'm very much involved in every creative thing I do, if it doesn't pass my approval, it's, it's, not, going it's, not, it's not going out. That's why now you got back to the house. Now it's time to rest a little bit before we eventually go for the party in the evening. This is the life, always on the move. <laughs> always on the move. Yeah, sleep time. Sleep, sleep time. time. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gabi. Places that I stay, yeah. and one thing that's that's common for me is the view. Hmm. I like to see things. I love bouquet, you know. You know, how, you know bouquet. Those, yeah, 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 yeah. I love bouquet so much. I love the, the idea of vastness, you know, space. Hmm. First of all, what's it like being a father? Man, it's a huge responsibility that I love, by the way, hmm. knowing that I have a huge responsibility to raise a queen. You know, my family is my center. Like I said, I, could, I told you before, yeah. you asked me where, where's, where am I happy? Where's my happy place? Yeah. It's anywhere they are. And that's one of the reasons I'm mostly hard, man. Because this girl, the life that me, I lived, mm. growing up, ah, she can't, she can't, no, she can't do the same. Mm. Uh, so, that's what I'm doing. I'm dropping school fees music for you people. <laughs> school fees music. School fees music. <laughs> so, so, so what, what's, what's it like being also married? To, uh, to somebody who is also superstar to a superstar, basically, yeah, who is beautiful. also in the same space you are. I think that's why it's even more beautiful because I don't need to do any, plenty of explaining. She understands. And I understand as well if she needs to go somewhere. Hmm. So we shuffle it. Like right now, she's in Lagos working. Hmm. Uh, and thank God we have like um, family hmm. around to help us with uh, danger sometimes, you know. Hmm. But yeah, like it's, it's beautiful to see that. We're both different, um, um, different individual brands. Mm. And she's traveling, I'm traveling. It's beautiful. Well, how, how did how did you guys meet, by the way? Come on, <laughs> it's a long story. I, I 
I slid into, into her DM. I mean, into her Facebook. Oh, really? Yeah, a long time ago. I listened to her songs. Oh. I didn't even go like she's to be going to be a boy, boyfriend. It's just I um I found this song called Ogaju. This Ogaju one I thought was beautiful, and I listened to that song back to back. And I sent her a funny DM with plenty basketball grammar. <laughs> <laughs> she, you know what's crazy? She never saw the message. Oh, really? She never saw it till we met and she never saw the message. I finally met her at uh, Bogobiri. That's, that's a clue for people that's looking for a spouse. <laughs> Go to Bogobiri, <laughs> find people there. She came to play and I thought it was beautiful and we became friends. Hmm. And that sharp good. guy, Alpha, let's do this live thing now. Hmm. And then we're on the journey. Babe, wow. come, come, come. So what did you, what did you call me when you came inside? Ojugo. I know you people always say marry your friend, but the thing is that only your friend will disrespect you. So if you How important is it to have like a, a supportive woman in your life? Ah, uh, bro. Now hmm. hmm. the body will tell you. Hmm. If you don't have a supportive woman, hmm. yeah, you need one, man. Yeah. A lot of things, a lot of advice that she's giving me. So some that I don't follow, I end up regretting. I always run things by her before I make decisions. Sometimes I make my own decisions. It's just I, she's just gifted. She's just blessed to you know tell you she has the right words, right, right everything. She's very supportive with the music as well. Like Sydney is like top three songwriter in Nigeria. And she's not. She's on about three or two. I'm telling you, hmm. she's she's an amazing songwriter. So and I really hold her in high regard. So having somebody like that in my corner is such a blessing for me as well. So I always bounce up my songs with her. And she sent me her ones, right? Before now, I couldn't even criticize her songs because I'm like, I'm on Ogami, you know? Like, ah, I see the band, I, I see the band together. Yeah, like, what, trash, am I, what, am I, what am I going to say? But now, I be like, no, 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 I don't like that one. I think you can do it better than that. And she does the same with me. There's no yes anything. It's, mm. If it's not good, it's not good. Mm. Tell each other straight. And that's it. How big do you see, like, Alphabet getting worldwide? Grandma is number three right now on Billboard. Do you know how crazy that is? Rema, being number three on the Billboard, not, not Billboard, top 100. That is insane. Very soon that's when we get to number one. We're crossing borders like, no, like literally traveling without visa with the songs, you know. And I'm happy to be one of the propagators of this beautiful genre. What's your most favorite song of yourself that you sang? <sighs> yeah, that's a, that's a tricky one. <laughs> but one song that, that's very important to me, two actually, Ire, Ire because um, it's, uh, it sums up my life. If you listen to the words of Ire, it's, it's really powerful. And I, I'm saying, if I had known that the life I was searching for was already my own. Hmm, you know? that's deep. Like, it's, I was, I was one, like, worrying as a kid, like, a lot, like, okay, what am I, what's, what's my life going to be like in the future? Hmm. Little did I know that I was going to be, I was already at the only goal. I just needed to be, to get there. Which hmm. brings me back to the words of Pharaoh that changed my life. Hmm. He said, you are already that person. Just put yourself in that place. And that song is the reason I wrote Iri as well. Like, if I had known that the life I was searching for was already my own, you know. For Kambale, Iri, Nikoma Bonle, just relax. Hmm. It's going to happen. Like, Iri, then another song is Kelego I think that's when, that's when I became, you know what, well, this thing, I'm going to talk my shit. I've played the lowly or oh, humble guy for too long. Hmm. This don't care about that shit. Bro, just talk your shit, man. That's why when I see people talk about uh, how some artists are cocky, I'm like, let them be. Please, if you know your shit, know your shit. Talk, just talk. Do whatever you have to do. And that's that's why that song is important to me. That's when I started saying, um, you can you can buy all the Gucci of this world. Like, you know if you give you style, if you know get out, you know day. I say Gucci, you know they say the swagger, that thing don't come overnight. And I just get my vibe. Anything where I wear, it they enter. Check out if I lie. <laughs> just see if I be like this. You know be vibe. Uh, so Kelly Gumi Boy is a is a very is a very important song for me. So guys, today's experience has been amazing so far. I've learned so much from hanging out with Alekole Gold. And currently we are just about heading out now to the listening party. Oh, why is it still not bright? I just want to see what that is because I'm super excited to listen to the songs on the album. This is going to be the first time any of the songs on the album is going to be played. I, I, saw, I saw you with the, with the piano earlier today. Mm. Like what's what's like your role in the team? 
I'm the music director. Okay. Any live performance and everything is arranged by me. Oh, and man. I also uh, produce some of the songs on oh, wow. this album. Oh, how long have you been on the festival? Uh, uh, more than 23 years now. Uh, yeah, we've been wow. friends for a very long time. So what's it like working with him? What's it like? Um, it's, I mean, it's, it's been fun working with him. He listens. Right. Yes, yeah, he listens. You know, he also knows what he wants. Yeah, I mean, the most important thing is that he listens. And, you know, he's ready to learn as well. So ready yeah, to nice. grow as well. Like, yo, he's on a very fast pace. Fast pace. Time to go. Party hard, people. Did you sleep at home? Yeah, I got, I got to snack. Like, how many, how many minutes? One hour in. Are you, are you good? That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Shout out to my manager, stylist, everything. Mm -hmm. Let's see. See, I was shiny, you know. Tio Tequila must shine. <laughs> I'm all shine. Yeah. We are good, Oh guys, it's packed though. <laughs> it's packed. We gotta go downstairs. Fully packed. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's about to go down. Yeah, man. <laughs> Tio tequila way. <laughs> I hear the madness in there. Ah, oh, Omo. <laughs> Are you ready for the walk? Yeah. Walk. <laughs> Paparazzi. <laughs> you always have this vision, or did you ever feel like it was going to be like this big? I knew I wanted it to be. Mm. When I just I didn't know when it was going to when be, was but I knew it was going to happen. One of the things that people don't pay attention to is if you believe in yourself, you've rigged the game already. Mm. Now, if you believe in yourself, bro, you've rigged the game. Mm. It's just, okay, let's go. Mm. Whatever thing comes your way, you just take it on. Take it on. I feel like that's, that's kind of like what's helped me, you know, mm. and of course God. Yeah. Mm. And of course the fans, because mm. um, you can do all of these things and you don't, they don't pay attention. You know? True. So why do people love Adekunle Gold? For me, it's multiple things. One of the most important being that we all watched him grow from the bottom to the top. He has been able to avoid any form of controversy or drama and has stayed true to his craft, which is very difficult to do in a very competitive entertainment industry like Africa. So I need everyone to give me a massive welcome for Tio Tequila! He also genuinely loves family and depends on them to keep him grounded. People love him for the life philosophies he embodies, as you can see from our conversations. This has led to multiple replays and lip syncs to his songs on social media whenever he drops a new body of work. The fans genuinely care, making them go the extra mile to promote his music to their friends and family. Amma, this is valuable, man. If people listen more, you might not have for the shop. What else do you have? Look how Black Bones is doing. Lies on everybody's lips. It's, that's genius. True. That's not Photoshop. It's just, oh, knowing that you're a mad person. <laughs> Go all the way. Look how um, my boy with the big color, he will cap lock you to death. Bro, is he on everybody's lips? Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Just find ways that's unique to you. Grab people's attention and then serve them the music. To be a little good is, 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 to be, is to be blessed, bro. It's mm. to be gifted. Mm. To know that. You can't try anything. Hmm. Bro, I'm not afraid to try anything. Hmm. Just like I said in passing your stuff, I'm not moved by what I see. I know where I be. That one is sure for me. I know. So I'm, since Kelly gave me bed, that's why I'm like, you know what? Nah, nah, nah. Pack. Pack the fun book. Mm -mm. Yeah, people need to see now. If you follow me on my Instagram, you see me. I have my vanity vanity check where I just talk about, oh, man, nobody find past me, everything, which is 
Bro, you can tell now. Look at shoulder. One more now. One more, one more. One more, you're all right. Vibe. Everything day. Follow come you. <laughs> <laughs> So how does anyone move from being just a photo editor to shutting down big venues with spellbinding musical performances? We just saw it. Experiencing 24 hours with Adekunle Gold shows me that anything is possible. You can start from the bottom and get to the top if you believe in yourself, stay true to who you are and continuously keep evolving. I learned a lot from AG about family and the importance of having a strong support system on your way to the top. Traveling and building my own business comes with a lot of stress and I see that having people who will always have my back is key. These memories will stay with me for a very long time. You guys follow me all day. Go and sleep. Oh my Thank you very much. Subscribe to Tayo I know. It's doing amazing stuff. I hope you guys have learned something from this video because I sure did. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.